Hello and welcome. It's another glorious day. It is Tuesday, it is July 21st, 2020. And um, when I am looking for inspiration, I have the habit to turn to Edgar Orbit guest over and over again. Um, he lived from 1881 to 1959 and was a British born US writer whose poems were widely read during the first half of the 20th century. And although it did not occur to guests to write verse until late 1898, when he was working as assistant exchange editor, it was his job to cull timeless items from the newspapers with which the free press exchanged papers for use as fillers. Many of the items were verses and guest figured he might just as well write verse and submitted one of his own, a dialect verse to the Sunday editor, Arthur Mosley. And the free press was quite choosy um, about publishing the literary efforts of staff members and guest as a seven year old dropout, 17, sorry, 17 year old dropout, not seven, might have been seen as, well, something of an upstart. But Mosley nevertheless decided to publish the verse, and this verse ran on December 11th in 1898. And more contributions of verse and of observations led then to a weekly column, the Blue Monday chat, and then a daily column, the Breakfast Table Chat. And the poem I chose today has the title Courage. Courage isn't a brilliant dash, a daring deed in a moment's flash. It isn't an instantaneous thing, born of despair with a sudden spring. It isn't a creature of flickering hope or the final tug at a slippery, slipping rope. But it's something deep in the soul of a man that is working always to serve some plan. Courage isn't the last resort in the work of life or the game of sport. It isn't a thing that a man can call at some future time when he's apt to fall. When the strain is great and the pace is hot. For who would strive for a distant goal must always have courage within his soul. Courage isn't a dazzling light that flashes and passes away from sight. It's a slow, unwavering, ingrained trait with the patience to work and the strength to wait. It's part of a man when the skies are blue. It's part of him when he has work to do. The brave man never is freed of it. He has it when there's no need of it. Courage was never designed for show. It isn't a thing that can come and go. It's written in victory and defeat and every trial a man may meet. It's part of his hours, his days and his years, back of his smiles and behind his tears. Courage is more than a daring deed. It's the breath of life and a strong man's creed. Guest's poem, Courage, speaks of courage as something that should come naturally to a man and something that is always there even if it isn't needed. He describes courage as essential, as the breath of life, which I find beautiful. And it also takes courage to take your life back, and that's why I chose Fight Song by Rachel Platten today for myself. So I hope you enjoyed it. I would really love you, love for you to join me again tomorrow and wishing you a wonderful day wherever you are. Take care.